And this time of year, it's all about apples. So we have some really delicious stuff for you guys to, to look at. Joanne Martin and Vicki Hutchins from the Gooseberry Patch are showing us the rest of their top five apple recipes. And Vicki, you've got everything from desserts to apple breads here. So have at it. Show us your favorites here. Okay, well, we'll start with the ham and apple filled okay, pancake. Okay, let's do that. looks delicious. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple pancake recipe okay. uh, that you, you make. And when you take it out of the oven, you make it in the oven in a pan. Okay. When you take it out of the oven, it sort of sinks, which is perfect, uh -huh. because then you have the well for the, um, it's uh, apple, uh, apple pie, pie filling okay. with, uh, oh, that's with so ham. Easy. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can sprinkle cheddar cheese on top if you like. Okay, that and looks delicious. And then, nice. uh, let's, so let's move on guys So over here. These are really adorable. First of all, little teeny tiny pies, huh? Yep, they're okay, little tell mini me about apple those. pies, and them. it's just a basic recipe that we've okay. decided to make into little individual um, containers. Mm -hmm. You can take it on a tailgating party, mm -hmm. a picnic, a par you know, any kind of party. And one of the nicest things, it's made with refrigerated pie dough. Oh, so see, I love it, that. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. love that, because there's no way you're going to get me to, to make any pie. Okay, so tell, tell me what else we have there. This I love, and you told me that... Um, there's kind of a trick here. I have to pick up my little, yes. my pop sideways. It could, so it could fall off the stick otherwise. We don't want to lose any apple Exactly. Desserts. And what's nice about this, it starts with a boxed cake mix. Okay. This is carrot cake, or you could use oh. apple spice or another flavor. And they're supposed to look like caramel apples. That's the idea with the stick. Just a little bit of fun. Mm -hmm. They're easy to eat, easy to make. And I think that's what gooseberry patch is. Everything's really easy. Yeah. Items in your pantry, and exactly. they're simple things that your family will love. Tried and true. Very good. And then finally we have what's over here is the apple cheddar bread. So this is another savory, kind of like the braid that you showed us exactly. earlier. Exactly. Uh, an apple and cheddar is perfect combination. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong. So it's a, it's a nice, nice for gift giving also. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I once had somebody melt cheddar on top of applesauce for me. Homemade applesauce. No. Have you ever done that? No, never, it was never different. That. It was different. Well, you know, is there an apple that's better for cooking than others? I would say um, a Granny Smith is what we've used today, uh, and that's a good sturdy apple that holds up well when you bake. Um, I think probably another apple would be a Honeycrisp, okay, or a or a Jonathan or a Jonagold. Those are also good uh, apples that you can bake with. Some apples sort of have a tendency to fall apart when right. you're when you're baking, like a Yellow Delicious. That's great mm -hmm. for applesauce. Okay, but you're yeah. looking for something. That's a little bit well, more and the fun. Granny Smith has a little bit of tartness mm -hmm. to it, so it com you know with the cheese, kind of the okay. combination All of the right. two, you yeah. can use brie and keep it sweet, or you can go ahead with the cheddar. So mm -hmm. it's a nice combination. Okay, and my thing is, I always have a hard time peeling the apple. So do I just need a better a better peeler, or is there a technique that you need to keep in mm. mind? I don't know that we know any tricks. I, don't know I think any tricks. Um, no. just yeah, the just, basic. Just, just a good get knife. over just it, good, Dana. Just and, a good yeah, and and peel right your apple. You see some people that have the apple peelers, you know, and I think that could be worth trying. But I will give you a tip, though. We understand that if you take your apple slices and you dip them into soda, like lemon lime soda, mm -hmm. it'll really? keep them from getting brown. Yeah. So it's oh, just a quick dip. A Club tip. soda, anything carbonated would work. So yeah. that way they don't turn brown. Okay, very good. Well, uh, we are going to get to tasting these things. I'm sure they're delicious. And if you want to try them, we've put the recipes on our website. You can go to myfox. 28columbus.com and click on recipes. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. This looks thank amazing. You. We always love having you guys. Thanks on. for having us. All right, Pete and Lisa.